yeah, it was great to get a win um, and play so many guys and and um, things we really wanted to focus on. Felt like we improved in those areas. You know, no turnovers on offense. Uh, scored in all three phases uh, with the kickoff return. It was great to see Julian and the unit really that blocked for him get that done. We were uh, scoring on defense. So, you know, to get a touchdown in all three phases is really awesome for the guys. Got to play a lot of people. Um, and so that was good. It was good to see our run game get going there. And, and just a tremendous run by Kendrick Raphael at the end of the game it was exciting to see that. Thought we threw and caught the ball very well. You know, had one drop the whole game. And, you know, Brendan was in a gr good rhythm. I thought he did a good job adjusting. Um, VMI came out and played a lot of cover two, soft coverage. And, and on tape, hadn't done that this year. And so, you know, good job by him just adjusting in the game. I'm pr proud of Lyndon Cooper. Lyndon came in and played center for us today when Dylan got nicked up and did a really nice job. And so that was good for him and, and for our confidence in him as a center. He's been playing guard for us. So to get him those reps is really valuable. But um, it's a good football game, you know, and a great crowd today. It's fun to have uh, just a beautiful fall day, great weather, and uh, appreciate the fanfare. It was really good to have the fans in there like that questions. Noah, go ahead. Hey, Coach, I know you touched on it just now, but, you know, going into the week, you kind of talked about wanting to improve complementary football, you know, as a whole. How exciting is it to see, you know, all three phases get involved, especially in the in the first half with the pick six and then, you know, the, the return for a touchdown after you had a penalty, the other one called back? Yeah, it was great to see. And, you know, like I said, those are the things we impressed on them all week. I think we learned a tough lesson in the Notre Dame game, obviously, and thing you love about uh, these guys and they've been like that here for the last three years they're, they're very coachable you know when they make mistakes um, they listen uh, they take them to heart they work really hard in improving and, and they did that today we did play complimentary football we got better in areas that we needed to get better quickly obviously we have a short turnaround here getting ready for conference play on a Friday so you know it's going to be the same approach just you know excited about the improvement I saw on the field and you have to play complimentary football. I mean, you have to build off of each other's momentum and seize moments of opportunity in this sport. You know, when you get field position, it's critical, and especially now with fewer possessions of short fields. You've got to be able to take advantage of them. And defensively, when you have a long field, keeping it that way. And so I think our guys really did a good job of that today and really proud of our kickoff return and punt return units. I think both of those units all year have been very valuable to us. And uh, to take it one more step, you know, to see a touchdown was huge. Ethan, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, I was actually going to ask about what you just mentioned there. Um, you know, through three games, um, both Jalen and Julian have been super productive. When you're consistently winning the field position battle, thanks to their production, just how does that transform games like this and Notre Dame and UConn? Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, I think, you know, statistics – that are out there, the shorter the field, the more you score. And so your field position through your special teams is very, very important. Our return game has been a strength uh, through three games. And you're seeing more and more confidence, I think, in, J in uh, Jalen Coit. In the first game, I think he was just happy to catch the ball. It was his first time doing that. And then he really performed well in, in tough conditions with Notre Dame in the rain. And it really, you know, the guys, I think, in the room, when you're on a return unit as a blocker, you know, you have a dangerous guy behind you that's that's willing, you know, you're going to play a little different. And I think that that, you know, as you saw today, you're, you're starting to see the guys play for each other in those units. And you'll see even more of that, I think, with, with Julian Gray. I mean, he's he's dynamic with the football and his confidence is growing. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach, pretty uh, pretty big game from a Robert Kennedy today, not just with the pick six, but I had one and a half sacks as well. Just what was your impression of his performance today? Yeah, Robert's been a really good addition to our defense. You know, he's very consistent, uh, understands the defense. He's learned it really quickly. He's tough. Uh, he's a kid that can do a lot, you know, play man-to-man, -man, can play a deep half, can blitz, can fit in the box in the run game. He's got a high football IQ. And he has good ball skills, you know, which you saw today. So we're very thankful that we have him here and excited, you know, that he had that touchdown today. It was an awesome moment for him. Rob, go ahead. Uh, Dave, it seems like the approach defense is taking is to drop seven, drop eight. 
Uh, do you feel like your guys are starting to sort that figure out? You know, they don't, the opposition is not wanting guys to get behind them, kind of figure out how to do the dink and dunk and move upfield. Well, we had to today, you know, I mean, that was their MO. And as you saw Brennan, he was very accurate. He was patient. The O line did a nice job giving him time and uh, just trying to read his stat line, but 27 to 32. So, you know, not a lot to, to take advantage of down the field just because of the, the high safety defense they were playing. But guys found voids in the zones and he was able to deliver the ball and they caught it well and ran after the catch. So, you know, if they're going to make us play like that, then we're going to have to be able to move the ball in that fashion and run the football efficiently. So we'll see if we get more of that or not. You know, each team you, you play has a different approach. Notre Dame was not that approach. They were blitzing every snap, you know, each week. In conference now, as we start, we're going to have a different um, challenge as we face different coverages, blitz packages, and philosophies as coordinators change. So, you know, Brennan did a good job today. I mean, coming into our game, they were uh, a team that had done a lot of blitzing. They had a lot of guys on the line of scrimmage. And so we had to prepare a lot for that. And this is something that they did back when the D coordinator that they have was at Delaware. And, and so, you know, we watched that film. We knew that that was something they might do but they hadn't done it on tape this year. And so I thought Brennan did a really nice job of understanding what they were doing and where the soft spots were and the receivers worked for them in those zones. Final question for coach, go ahead, Ethan. And coach, I just wanted to ask about, you talked a lot this week, just about, you know, freshman mistakes are going to happen when you play freshman. And then today you had Kendrick leading you and rushing and Casey leading you in receiving. What does it say about um, the resiliency of these young guys that they bounced back so quickly and then had great days today? It's one of the th beauties of youth. You know, these kids are very uh, quick to respond and bounce back more so than the adults. I think as coaches, we dwell on these things a lot longer, I think, sometimes than the young guys. And they're just excited to get back in and prove that they're, you know, better than the play that somebody's remembering. And they're talented, you know, and so I think as your confidence grows as a young player, your playmaking ability that we see in practice, because that's where obviously they've earned these reps, starts to come out on game day. And so, you know, every play that a guy makes builds confidence. And like the run that Kendrick jumped over guys, a tremendous play, like that's going to build confidence for him. The, the play that Casey had there at the end on the deep over and the run after that catch, that's going to build confidence. And so those are good plays. Porter Rooks had two great contact catches today. That's going to build confidence for him, you know, and those are plays he didn't make the week before. So that's what the game's about. You know, it's execution and X's and O's, this, that, and the other, but it is a confidence game, you know, and as a player, you got to believe in yourself, you know, and I think those plays that those kids made today will help them with that. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. That Thanks, it? Coach. All right, thank you all.